Hello, how's it going everybody? Um, so I just wanted to go a little more into detail how to do this. If you have no familiarity with make.com, you'd actually have to take a step backwards to, to understand it a little bit better, but I'll talk about that really quick. The way make.com works is it has a tool set that allows you to, for example, set variables and to do basic, we call logic in development, like repeating like a loop, for example, or router, which could be looked at as encoding if then. And it's a visual way of assembling solutions. So each module either represents a tool or a solution connection, or it can even just do manual API connections. Um, so in this, I spoke briefly, briefly about how the loop works, like in the router, if then. I want to just Go a little bit more into the details of how this is working and then like if you have specific questions you can just reach out to me um, so with this part this is a module called setting multiple variables all we're doing is you could put all this information into the different modules or you could take the information out and store it in a, in a single place and the reason i like to do that is to easily modify values inside of the scenario here. This is called a scenario, this whole map here, this diagram, right? So if I want to be able to change, like write this out, this is how it's set up. This is a starting value, which means which chapter of the book we're evaluating. So the context is here, we're looking at a book from Alex Formosi called $100 million leads, how to get strangers to want to buy your stuff. And because the LLM has already been trained on a bunch of information about this book, you're going to use the LLM's knowledge, training knowledge, to reassemble a version of the book in a different voice. <laughs> That's like what this does. So for example, we have type of writer right here. And I've added actually, you could do this here too. You could add notes. So you look over here. I wrote, wrote notes for this module. It's a little bit hard to see probably in the screen, but you can see there's little lines that go to the notes. So here, a type of writer, what type of style does this writer have? Example, academic, analytic, descriptive, right? So you get the idea. You go, we go into these different variables to set these things. So type writer is a marketing expert because that's what we want to do is this marketing book. And then we're going to emulate a different author because this is written by Alex Hormozzi. That's a book author of $100 million leads. But we're going to emulate a different author's writing style because, yes, the LLMs are trained on the right, different author's writing styles because they have all the data. It's crazy. Um, and I added some other variables to try and give it more, you know, make it spicier and fun. Um, like you could say what you're interested in proving, right? You could determine the length of each chapter here. Here's the tone of writing. And here's a teaching style, because this is more emphasized on trying to, to, to write guides for people to improve, right? So we set these variables to start. And then we're going to ask the AI to go through and say, hey, how many chapters are in this book that you know? <laughs> you, this will not work for a book that the AI has no knowledge about. Like a book, it's um, not been trained on. Like a book that just came out, ChatGPT will not be able to help you. Will not be able to produce anything here. But this book, the AI knows. And most books that you've heard of, the AI knows. Um, so it's going to ask, how many chapters is book this book by this author, which is Hormozzi's uh, $100 million leads, Please just output the number in digits in, in digit form and nothing else. So we're just getting how many chapters that book is from the AI, right? And that's how we know how many loops we need to do. This is this is going to be a loop right here. Say it's loop. Okay. So once we do that, we're just going to set the variable. So now we know how many chapters are going to be. And this is just like a, I don't even know if this is necessary. This is me just making sure that the variable is understood to be a number and not a string like rather than 10 the, the the string we have 10 the number and that's that can be important when it comes to developing so this is the actual like engine right here the loop this will cause this whole thing to repeat based on the values put in this loop right so here's a starting value which we set in over here it's going to be one right unless you're doing something weird and then the cutoff value is based on how many chapters a book is right and this is the step means just what the increment is of of the the between the initial value and the final value okay so what the first step we're going to do 
is we're going to ask the AI. Now we're in a chapter. We know we're doing a loop and we're in chapter I right now. Let's see, we're in the third chapter, right? So we're going to say, can you please help me with the following task? Extract key points. Please give me a comprehensive detail, detailed list. Oh, there's a typo right there. Of all key points in bullet form from the book, from Mosey's uh, book, and then chapter three, right? And then highlight impactful lessons. Highlight the most powerful or impactful lessons from that chapter. I'm interested in understanding the material on a deep level. And three, please do not include the book name, author, or even chapter in your output because the output will be put into a pre labeled cell. Um, that's for future plans, like making this more advanced. Um, you could set the max tokens. That's something, another topic you want to know how to use these more in depth. But this is a chat GPT right here. We're sending an API request to chat GPT to do this process. Right? And then you write it. It's going to write the chapter based on the notes. Right? It's Each one is acting individually. This chat GPT call, this module right here, knows nothing when you call it. So you're going to say, you are a type of writer. Remember we set the variables over here? Write emulating writing style of was it dan dan uh, carnegie or whatever your task is to rewrite my notes that I included below in brackets into a unique chapter for a book so what's it doing it's it doesn't know what book we're talking about in this we're not talking we don't mention hormozy's book here at all we just mention the notes the type of writer and who we're emulating the writing style right so your writing should be aimed at individuals interested in improving what you want to improve in the chapter should be approximately the length we set. Um, and then here's specific instructions on the, the style and stuff. So there's a tone and style. Uh, maintain the, maintain this tone of writing. We, 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 I, th this is something you could change. You could add more variables here too, by the way. But I want it to, to have commentaries, real-life examples. Um, and, 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 and I can't say that word. Analogies, analogies and stories. Um, and restrictions, right? Do not include any sources because we want this to really sound like a book chapter, right? And then we're giving it to context that's going to be like you're, you're basically a teacher, right? And it goes, it goes, and then at the end, it's just taking our notes and writing a chapter on those notes. It doesn't, it doesn't know where these notes are from. <laughs> it's just notes. So it'll produce a chapter. Now, here we have a little bit going to detail. So right here, we have a filter. A router will go, if there's no filters, a router will go the top direction, process everything there, then go in the bottom and onwards to get more routes. And it always process top to bottom, unless you add a filter, right? And so filters is, is what I was talking about before. It's like sort of like development logic, if, then, or else. For example, here, we are in chapter three right now, right? So if the value of our chapter is greater than the cutoff value, i.e. the book is, let's say, 10 chapters. So if the chapter we're trying to process is greater than or equal to 10, it should be equal to, actually. I'll fix that later. Um, then we're done. The book is done, right? And we're going to add that last paragraph, and we're done. Okay. But if the, if the book is less than or equal, or if the chapter is less than or equal to total number of chapters, then we're gonna go this direction, right? So this the these are called filters. These filters help decide which direction to go. And the only thing we need to know is really, is what all we're doing is like, hey, are we at the end of the book or not? If we're at the end of the book, then put that last chapter down there and let's uh, and then we're finish the process. You'll be done right here once you get here because it's not gonna ever repeat anywhere because this loop right here stops at the end of the chapter, okay? But otherwise, um, by the way, it's like, you have to put this here so it, I remember why I put it greater than. You have to write the last chapter down before you end the, the loop, so that's why I have this here. Um, anyways, so the normal process is going down here, right? It's First, it's gonna create an image based on the chapter that you just wrote. No, oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is the prompt to create an image. So please turn the following into a Dolly 3 image prompt. Uh, you have to you have to have character limits. So just make it 9 or 50 character limit. I think the character limit's 1,000, I could be wrong. And you're taking the chapter and you're basically trying to create an image prompt from the chapter. And it does a pretty good job. This is an actual call to um, OpenAI's Dolly. 
as it looks exactly the same as their other prompts, but you can see if you look here, it says generate an image. All right, and we're just taking the prompt we created and we're sending it to the Dolly 3 model, which is the image generator for OpenAI, their best model. Then we're placing the image in the document right here, the Google Doc. You fill this out and it's gonna boom, put the image right there. And then it's gonna put the chapter in. Now this is this is how I have it. This is a chapter counter and this is the chapter. It's it could be so much nicer. I, I just this is how I have it set up right now. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. If you have any more specific questions, please let me know and I'm more than happy to answer questions. And yeah, that's it for now.